drivers in the United States are planning to stop giving rides to and from airports in 10 cities. That includes Chicago and Miami. Food delivery riders and drivers in the UK also expected to strike. CNN's Vanessa Yurkavish, thankfully, here with us. Why? Why are they doing this to Valentine's Day? Red Share app workers not feeling the love this Valentine's Day. So you're going to see thousands across the country at 10 airports. I think we have them to put on your screen there so you can check if you're flying into or out of an airport. They are not going to be picking you up or dropping you off. And this is in part because rideshare workers believe that they are making poverty wages for working 80 hours a week. They are often susceptible to carjackings, to violent crimes. And they say that as they are taking home less and less pay, mm -hmm. the companies like Lyft and Uber are making more and more profits. We reached out to some of the companies, Lyft saying that they're constantly working on ways to improve driver experiences, DoorDash says that they're always listening to their dashers and looking for ways to improve the platform. And then Uber Eats saying that uh, we try to engage with our couriers to look at how to improve the experience. But obviously, this has been something that's been going on for a while. This is not just a Valentine's Day movement. But the problem is rideshare app drivers are not unionized. So they really have to mobilize on their own. This is one way that they believe they can get the attention of Americans who are both using the rideshare apps and ordering delivery just to make the point and basically say that we don't feel like we are being treated fairly. Yeah, certainly make a point on the on a day that demand is really high. Vanessa, talk to me a bit about just sort of in terms of inflation and the inflationary impact. You feel it a lot of places, but maybe people will feel it, especially today. How is that changing how people date? Yeah, so the time old question, should we make dinner at home or should we go out to eat? I mean, this is what people decide to do on Valentine's Day if they're spending time with loved ones. But these numbers.